everybody, welcome to Kelly's Dolly Talk Show and Queer Doll Stuff on YouTube. So today I have a fun review for you today. I have a fun review for you today. We're going to be checking out the new Yvette doll by American Girl. She is a part of the World by Us collection. There are three dolls, Yvette, Maritza, and McKenna. We've already checked out McKenna on my channel. So today I'm going to be checking out Yvette, and I will also be making a video of Maritza today. So make sure to check out for that video as well. Because I got both dolls in the mail today. I got Yvette and Maritza, so we will be checking them both out today. So that is going to be really cool. So first I'd like to point out that Yvette's hair is really curly, and it is very unique curls. Um... It's a very interesting curly texture that is different than any other doll American Girl has made. Which is really neat, you know. She has like these really interesting kind of messy curls, which I don't think any other doll has had. So they're a little bit messy, but they're cute. They're really cute. Um, she is supposed to be half African American and half white. So that is why she has like the messy kind of curls. So I think that's pretty cool. She also has gray eyes, which is pretty unique because the only other dolls that have had gray eyes are, I believe, Logan, Ruthie, and let me think. I think. Uh, which truly me was it? I think it's truly me 89. I might be wrong. No, I think it was 91. I get the numbers mixed up. I think it's 91. Yeah, I think it's truly me 91. Truly me 91 has gray eyes. Yeah, it's truly me 91. Truly me 91 has gray eyes. <laughs> yeah, she's the African American one with the purple hair. She has the gray eyes. So that one has gray eyes as well. But those are the only American Girl dolls that I can re- Oh wait, Molly. What am I thinking? There's also Molly. Yeah. So there are only four American Girl dolls that have gray eyes. There's Molly, Ruthie, Logan, and Truly Me 91. With purple hair and um, African American doll. Um, I believe I have them all. So, if you guys would like to see a video of all those dolls, um, please let me know. Because I might be interested in doing that. And she also has a very cute um, freckle pattern. I believe it is unique to her. I've heard that Yvette's freckle pattern is unique to her. Which is pretty cool. Um, Yvette also has painted on lashes on her upper and lower um, lash lines. And her eyebrows are feathered and they are thicker than normal. Um, her dress is kind of a orange color. So it's kind of like a bright orange. And it has um, flowers on it that are pink, blue, and they are like pink, blue, and like dark pink. She has like all these little flowers on her dress. And then she has some... She has some like lace on her sleeves, super cute. And then she also comes with these little flower boots that are black with um, pink, dark pink and um, white flowers on them. And she has um, white ties on her shoes. Now at first when I heard, when I first saw a vet, I thought she was just another white doll and I was kind of disappointed. Because I thought she looked like um, Truly Me um, 83. She does not. She does not look like 83. When I first took her out, I was like, no. This doll does not look like 83. So I'm really glad I got her. Because she does not look like 83. So I can do a comparison of those two if you would like to see that as well. She also comes with pink underwear like McKenna had. They're just plain light pink underwear. So you get that as well. And her dress has a little black belt with a little um, silver belt buckle. Super cute. Um, I really do like this doll a lot. I think they did a great job on her. 
She's really cute. Um, her teeth are regular size. And she has um, glossy pink lips. I really like her a lot. I've heard some people get ones with matte lips, but I think mine are glossy. I'm pretty sure because they kind of kind of light reflects off of them. So I think I got the one with the glossy lips, but I think you can get ones with matte lips as well. Um, so they do vary a little bit um, in that department, but I think I got a pretty nice one from American Girl. I don't see any terrible flaws with her. I think they did a really good job making the doll I received. So I'm pretty happy. And she also has like blonde highlights in her hair. Super cute. Um, I think Yvette is a really cute doll. But I think overall they could have made her a little bit darker because she's supposed to be half Amer African American. And they could have made her hair a little bit darker. But, and I think the gray eyes kind of make her look a little bit white. So they could have given her um, hazel or um, brown eyes instead. But that's just my critique that they could have made her darker in general. But overall, overall I do like her a lot. I think she's a really pretty doll. But that's my only critique is that she's supposed to be half African American. So they should have made her a little bit darker. In general like completely darker in general but that's just the way I feel because the people I've seen that are half african-american they're usually a little bit darker than a vet is so I know there are people that look like a vet that are half african-american I'm not saying that they don't exist but I'm just saying that the average person that is is a little bit darker and has darker hair and eyes and stuff so just my opinion on that. That they could have they could have made her a little bit darker. And then she also comes with a book. She doesn't come with any accessories, but she does come with a book. The River and Me. So she comes with this book that you can read all about her. And it's supposed to be about recycling and upcycling and things like that. So I will give that a read and I will do a separate review on the book. At a later date because I haven't had the chance to read the book yet I just got the doll today but I will do a review on the book as well like I did with McKenna so yep yeah. so that is a vet I think she's a really cute doll and I think they did a great job on her and I'm hoping to see more world by us dolls because I do think the line is really good and I will be happy to um, purchase more of them if American Girl makes more of them. But I'm also excited for next year's on Girl of the Year. So that will be probably my next purchase for American Girl. And I will see you guys next time. Bye now.